This is an e-cigarette. It looks, feels, and tastes like a cigarette, <laughs> um, but it isn't. It, uh, nothing is burning, and the e-cigarette doesn't contain tobacco. It heats a nicotine chemical solution into a vapor. It's like a little cigarette vaporizer. <laughs> <laughs> and still, some states are, are banning the sale or use of this product, but regular cigarettes are still being sold. So is banning e-cigarettes going too far? Is the idea of this that you're still getting nicotine but without... Is yes. this any safer than smoking yes. a cigarette? The idea, the idea behind e-cigarettes is that you are leaving out a lot of the toxic substances that are involved in cigarettes and just getting the nicotine. People smoke because of their nicotine addiction. Correct. So the concept behind an e-cigarette is completely fine. But let's, let's back up for a minute. I want to ban all cigarettes. Yeah. You know, let's ban all cigarettes. I you know, think they're not getting just, close to doing Not just e-cigarettes, yeah. but... Here's a great example where you have two strong associations that are lobbying the legislature and government to make a deal. The tobacco growers, they obviously don't want e-cigarettes because it's going to cut into their sales. The e-cigarette association, they want obviously their cigarettes to be sold uh, online. Here's the issue. The FDA has said be careful because we've done a test and there are some carcinogens, things that cause cancer, and some other toxic chemicals that they found in some of the e-cigarettes. The problem is the FDA based it on a very small study that was not entirely scientific. Uh. Here's my opinion. Don't ban e-cigarettes and also not ban regular cigarettes. If you're going to ban one, ban the other. But the I agree. That seems fair. That seems fair. I mean, either they're legal or they're not. They're and not. if they are legal, don't ban something that might actually help someone quit. Exactly. Yeah. This could be a step from someone who's... Cigarette smoking to quit is very tough, Rachel. Very tough. I, I have friends that wear the nicotine patches. It's the same idea. Same idea. It's one step away from the actual product. I just think this is mired in political controversy. These two different sides are worried about selling, mm. and the government's in between, and, you know, unfortunately, the consumer is the one who loses out. Now, I know you don't like... I know you think they're icky, but... I mean, the idea is just weird to me. It is that, weird. That because it's a chemical in here. Like, you know you're putting a big pile of chemicals. I mean, to me, well, if you're going to just pop on a bunch of chemicals, go ahead and have the, the, but they're, but the they're, cigarette. Right, but they're getting rid of a lot of the other toxic chemicals gotcha. that are in there. That's why... And that's I do have friends that swear by the patch. Yes. Like, they've effectively quit smoking because they have the patch. And some swear by this, too, by the way. They say that eventually they, work, they wean themselves off the cigarettes. I have cigarettes. other friends that just carry, like, broken pencils and stuff because they wanted the, the, the physical... That's exactly. It. That's it. And sometimes the oral fixation, too. That's People right. Chew, yeah, so... Anyway, so, so that I mean, if it works is... for you, you're not offended by it. No. Overall, as a doctor, of course, you would say get rid of all of it. All of it. But, but if, if you're, you're going to ban one, okay. ban I think the that's other. That's fair. Okay? I mean, you're very good at this. <laughs>